All right, we are going to first learn how to make some super simple landscapes by thinking about just painting um, uh, ground and sky. So we're gonna start first uh, with some sky. The first kind of sky that I'm gonna paint is just a plain, um, like blue, sunny day sky. So I want um, blue paint uh, and quite a bit of water. I don't want a lot of pigment in there because I want the, the sky to feel blue. When we think about aerial perspective, we think about the sky a little darker at the top. So I'm going to put a little bit more paint at the top and I'm going to gradually add some water as I pull my wash down because the sky will tend to feel darker at the top and lighter at the horizon line. Um, when we're painting these little landscapes, we always want to think about composition too, that you'll have either more ground and less, more ground and less ground. So I have kind of painted this guy past the halfway point and you can just gradually fades from this little bit brighter blue at the top to this middle blue at the bottom. Before I paint any land on here, I need this to dry just a little bit. So I am going to um, show you also how to paint a little bit of a cloudy sky, also like this guy's sunny day, but with a little bit of clouds. So same um, blue, quite a bit of water. Paintbrush must have been dirty. I want bright blue and I'm getting very bright blue at all. Uh, same thing, I'm gonna go so that my sky gets gradually, gradually, gradually a little just a little lighter as we move down to the horizon line. And now if you remember back to like that week of class when we did the texture techniques and we used a tissue or a piece of paper towel to lift off clouds and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna push it sort of straight down onto my paper. This visual effect of a cloudy little bit of a cloudy day okay clouds will get um, feel like they get closer together towards the horizon line so I'm gonna put a few more in as I go move down my paper I can come in here and just sort of adjust a little bit and I have quite a few clouds in my in my sky. It looks like a very, very cloudy day. A couple out here. Um, so it's all right if they're even, that's good. Um, I can come back if I want and uh, add a little bit more blue up in some bit bigger clouds. It gives them a little bit of more like physical structure. All right, my end up top should be pretty close to uh, being dry enough to think about adding some ground. Um, we want to create the visual effect of um, distance. And so we want to use uh, aerial perspective com um, concepts in that I want my green that I use in my background to be a really, really kind of grayish, bluish, nondescript or noticeable green. I also want it to be a little lighter so you'll see painting just a little bit right over the edge of that sky, giving myself just a little into the, the clouds. I'm then um, gradually going to switch to a blue or a green that's got a little bit more green in it so that it starts to feel just a little brighter. And then as I move all the way down here to the front, I'm going to shift to a color that has just a little bit more yellow. So you can see the effect here is like, kind of like hills, a little bit of rolling grass. Um, this back part feels a little further away because it's not as distinctly green. We get gradually brighter at the front. Um, I can, if I want, like kind of have the effect of some uh, super close ground. So I just put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of the um, kind of darker yellow on here and I'm going to switch my paintbrush around and I'm just going to use my paintbrush to kind of paint uh, to draw 
just a little bit like this idea of like grass or some sort of uh, vegetation here at this closer section and now as that dries the, the watercolor will pool in there and that will feel like that's where we're standing so that it'll give me that good effect of far away to the distant to the to the closer area okay with my cloudy sky and then you guys can go ahead and practice so I've got this murky kind of soft gray green back here my hills in the background, my ground in the background doesn't necessarily have to be flat. This idea that maybe I have a little bit of um, height in my my landscape there that would work for a far away kind of spot, kind of color. I'm gonna switch, make my stuff a little bit greener now. I don't want to worry about adding trees or any. Um, landscapey details on these first couple tries. I just want to have the feeling and sky and distance just right here, just very simply with just plain, mostly flat land and sky. Okay, so there we go, land and sky and without clouds. So I can add a little shadow in here. land and sky.